definitely be a winner on the night thanks to an innovation for the FA Cup, the penalty shootout. First, they had 90 minutes to try and settle the issue. Here's Adams. Gray showing a willingness to get forward. Oh, and he's pitched a goal! Stuart Gray, a catastrophe for Manchester United. Eight minutes gone. Shearer. Adams. Was quick enough to uh, hold off Parker's attempts to catch him and then clever enough to uh, position his body so that Parker brought him down. Yeah, he's made into some terrific runs forward, Mickey Adams, and at the end of the referee correct, Paul Anker up the end zone, Paul Parker. now for Southampton is to uh, keep their goal intact until half-time. They're all working to uh, that end. Shearer adopting a left-side midfield role at the moment. Getting behind the ball. Letizia doing the same on the other side of the pitch. Cockrell holding up Webb. It's good team play again. Here's Donaghy. They don't want to retreat too much. Somebody's got to get a challenge in. way up for a longish throw from Webb, which was dealt with by Ruddock, and now Irwin, Cockrell, couldn't swing to get the ball very far away, now they've got it to Letizia, and he's picked out Shearer, alongside him is Barry Horn, who's gone offside now, Letizia can hold it again, and try something of his own perhaps, Shearer's shot, oh! It was a marvellous try. And Schmeichel got to it. Otherwise, this replay may well have been over. Webb. It's a charge now for Manchester United. Oh, Paul, terrible mistake. Brian McClare in the context of the FA Cup. A terrible miss. Well, this is an unbelievable mistake to be making at this stage in the game. You just clear your lines here and you send the ball flying upwards. He just couldn't get the control of his chest there, Brian McClure. Faintly come down, but his lob wasn't very good at all. Southampton came here with a changed team, but a real sense of purpose that was evident from the outset. It was an optimistic attitude that forced errors out of Manchester United who looked anything but the best team in the land the two goals followed it seemed a long time for Southampton to be able to use them particularly when Kanchelskis made it 2-1 and is it going to be 2-2 here oh how did that get back in it is 2-2 Brian McLeod The reprieve has been handed out and Southampton hang their heads in total disbelief. It was another extraordinary defensive disaster. And Manchester United are still alive. Well, this is just an astonishing sequence here. Shot whips that cross. Is it clear? No. Off Kenna back, over Flowers' head, over Mark Hughes, Matt, Brian McLaren, just in a back person gets and a dramatic equaliser. In extra time, Southampton held out, despite relentless pressure from United. So, for the first time in FA Cup history, a first division team would be eliminated on penalties. The first to face the ordeal is Neil Ruddock, who scores. So it's 1-0 to 
Southampton. Not a bad penalty for a central defender either. Tucks that one away nicely. Neil Webb. Now certain players have the strength of character to really revel in these situations. But Neil Webb, it seems, isn't one of them. So he's going to need some help now. Well, what a feeling that must be for Neil Webb. But now it's against Schmeichel. Oh, and Schmeichel almost dived away from it. 2-0 to Southampton. Yeah, just so swung straight in the centre of the goal. Schmeichel got diving to the right-hand side. They badly need Dennis Irwin to pocket this one. He has done. 2-1. Next to go for Southampton is Barry Horn. The one miss in it. And still in it. In, it's in Southampton's favour. If they keep scoring, they are through. Yeah, well, the pressure keeps increasing on the next Manchester United player to take a penalty. And remember, as I said earlier, no Steve Bruce to take a penalty, no Clayton Blackmore. But Sharp makes it look much, much simpler than it is. It's 3-2. Mickey Adams still... The one missed by Neil Webb. But United would have the chance to be level again if Adams fails. But he doesn't. And it's still 100% for Southampton. No wonder Ian Branford was confident. If Giggs fails now, it's all over. Southampton have got four, and Manchester United just two in the penalty shootout after the 2-2 draw. Ryan Giggs. He saved it! Southampton set off on a lap of honour. And Manchester United can be added to the growing list of high-class casualties in this year's FA Cup. They'll never catch Tim Flowers. Well, eventually, they did catch up with Tim Flowers and Norwich City brought him and Southampton down to earth in the quarter-finals, where the Saints eventually lost in a replay 2-1. So, to the semi-finals, and at Highbury, Liverpool were up against second division Portsmouth, and Jim Smith's team certainly weren't overawed by the big occasion. They held the Reds through 90 minutes, and the game entered extra time goalless. over the back of Liverpool, Anderson did the rest.